Hello my friends and subscribers, my name is Alexander Stepanov and now you see me working with the toenails. I'm going to apply infill of gel nails which were applied on the toenails. You see me working with the drill machine of the brand Strong and I'm using the forward speed for removing the gel. How to do it quickly and without hitting the nail plate. Of course the first thing you should remember we should use the correct drill bit. The barrel drill bit has large toothing and it's sharp enough so it will be never hurt the nail plate and hit the nail plate if it's new and uh, and if you uh, work with this bit with the correct way I mean never move it on the same place always change the direction and uh, it's better not to push on this drill bit too much so we, we, you should slightly move it from left to right from up to down and try to to push elegantly <laughs> the way for example you work you are working with your husband's nails or your wife's nails if you are the man nail, nail technician I can give you advice guys, it's better not to remove the, the all gel if the product is good quality I suggest you to work with only high quality products for example I'm working with gel products from shapeofnail.com for example the sculpting mix gel which you can see here on these nails this gel is stained perfectly as you can see on my day-to-day -day videos, we have no liftings, no cracks, no allergic reaction. So I'm continue using for 10 years the same product, the same gel, only different tones of it. And the result is always perfect, the consistency and the content of this gel is stable. We just can have a good time working with this product and create the new nail designs. After removing a gel product, large amount of gel product with barrel gel bit, I have buffed or sharpened these nails with the file. And the next step is working with the pterygia or the dead skin. So you see, this nail is fine. Uh, we call it as bird bird nail. It's like a small bird, and we have a lot of uh, funny pictures in internet because when you um, when we when you kick the furniture or um, crash to some something with your leg with your toenails always this finger and always this nail uh, on the stress and only exact exactly this nail Hurt is hurt is hurt too much. Not other nails. I hope you understand, guys. And maybe someone explain as it order uh, how it should be in down in the comments. I mean, explain explain my point. Okay, guys. I have removed the pterygia using the 
diamond drill bit and now I'm working with nippers. I'm showing you the high quality nippers of the brand Solingberg from shapeofnail.com it's or you, you, we also have Stalix nippers so I don't remember what's was this kind uh, we, we love Stalix and the Solenberg brands and I think they are the best in this segment okay let's work with it neatly uh, and accurately remove the skin this way some nail technicians never remove the skin in some countries because the law doesn't allow allows nail masters to do it because of problems with aid with other disease but in Russia we have no such problems and we are working with any type and types of cutters. Applying the primer is the important thing and curing the primer in lead lamp. Uh, the base gel should be applied for the perfect adhesion between the nail plate and the sculpting layer. I think a lot of people will be happy to have such nails on Christmas and New Year's Eve. And I think that a lot of nail salons are full of clients now and they have no vacations. Nail masters are working hard these days. So this video <laughs> maybe you maybe they come back home very tired and don't able to to see or to watch even this video but guys I hope that someone enjoys it enjoys my tutorials and keep on watching them let's apply the co the coat of sculpting sculpting gel sculpting mix gel this coat is not so thin and the, the thing is that the thin layer can be quickly lifted the wider layer the stronger the cut but um, be reminded guys this layer should be accurate and if you apply it, if you have applied the thickest layer it will look bulky so if you shouldn't uh, if you if you want to avoid this bulky effect you should shape it correctly and uh, perfectly using uh, drill bits using special files it will take too much time so it's better to make some pre some uh, it should be it shouldn't you should be maximum accurate applying the sculpting gel <laughs> if you if you don't want to shape nails thereafter okay guys uh, uh, let's remove the tacky layer from the nail plate this way and um, let's work with them using the control bit this is the medium medium hardness control bit so uh, this way I'm removing the gel in cuticles area I, I think that only 10% of nail technicians 
use this technique because some of them because really this technique is not so easy because you should keep the, the drill hand micro motor in your hand strongly and sometimes it, it's running out and twisting around the finger so maybe it seems for you dangerous sometimes it happens in my practice when the, dr the drill bit with the micro motor uh, start starts moving moving out from me oh, I'm out of my control <laughs> but uh, never I had I never heard the client this way it was it was okay so you should you should just keep it strongly and uh, not rush don't don't rush in this technique why do I do that uh, because this way when we when we want to place the picture of uh, the, the painting or the cot close to cuticles and in the other way when we have some product put it in the cuticle so only this way we can remove the product and clean this this area and if you don't do that the result will be awful and not uh, not uh, it will be looking like Like I, I don't know how to explain it. I hope you understand. When you know sometimes beginners place too much product in the cuticles and it looks so unprofessional. But uh, if you are a trainer, uh, if you are a trainer, you should train your students how to remove the product. In this case, sometimes it's hot in your room when you work with this gel and the gel is becoming liquid too much liquid so that's why it flows everywhere some technicians even place the sculpting mix gel into the fridge to not to freeze it but for make it cool and uh, the gel is becoming thicker maybe it would, it would be good idea for some nail, nail masters how to work with such product uh, i know that in acrylic technique acrylic methods uh, there are problems when uh, the product is becoming the time of polymerizing the product sometimes it is becoming hard so quickly uh, and nail, some nail technicians doesn't uh, don't um, they can't sculpt uh, the nail with this fast period of polymerizing but we have the problem with the gel nails when uh, the gel is too liquid so I have <coughs> already told you guys how to how to solve this problem the first way is to use a thicker product uh, the second way is to use uh, freezing methods like keeping the gel in the fridge or keeping the gel in a cool place or making the cool temperature in your in your office or in your room salon the place where when you work i'm using my favorite nail art techniques uh, one stroke for creating the nail design and uh, it's not easy to draw on such tiny nails but i'm trying to create something beautiful and it's not easy of course to use such large brush number six for drawing on these nails but if you train your trained a lot with this technique you will be easily apply 
touch pedals on your client's nails it will it would seem easy for you so I, I decided to brighten floor front pedals and we have only one pedal on the um, pinky pinky nail pinky toenail so I'm adding some details quick details using the black color mix it with the white color and some broken broken lines like this okay so we just we just need to uh, wait for some time until the gel this acrylic paint is is dry because if you place the top coat on the wet acrylic paint it's not all only can uh, be ruined and, uh, <laughs> and flowed turning the trash <laughs> trash but it also can quickly be lifted in a day from this paint and from the nail so it's better to keep hands close to the fan fun ventilator or fan or something else which quickly is removing the water and liquids this way it will it will it would stay perfectly okay I'm placing the large drop of the top coat it's it's cool by the way and um, so you can see that um, the picture is looking beautiful on the encapsulated layer so we we're applying layer by layer and uh, curve nail, nails in lead lamp. So I'm this uh, now, I'm, guys. I'm showing you tutorial snail designs day by day. Some of them are new, some of them uh, remade and uh, reload. But I'm trying to explain more details in these videos because some years ago my English didn't allow me to do it I hope my English now is becoming better and, and I'm trying to tell you more details and secrets in this technique so if you have some question you can ask me down in the comments and um, now I'm using the piece of coconut oil I'm loving this method of moisturizing the skin because uh, this oil is perfect not only for eating but for you know, working with skin and I think that coconut oil is the best oil and the most natural suitable for vegans suitable for any type of skin never brings allergic reactions let's take a look on the on, the, on my work if you like this video please don't forget to click that like button <laughs> using fingers or toenails and um, if you want to order these products these fantastic products you can add, uh, visit shop shapeofnail.com products will be uh, will be delivered with free shipping all over the world thanks for watching guys bye